Hey friends, welcome to another Garden City Arts online program. My name is Miss Katie and I am going to be your guide on this fun adventure that we're about to go on. This workshop is called Out of This World and we are starting day one of a three-day workshop. So during these three days, I am going to be exploring and creating artwork with you and all of that artwork is going to be inspired by aliens and outer space. So today we're getting kind of in the right mindset. We are thinking about what aliens might look like. So we are making our own little alien headdress that you can wear as you create artwork or that you can wear while you're having fun at home, okay? So this is just my idea. You get to do whatever you want though, okay? So I'm gonna put my alien cap back on. That way I'm inspired to walk you through another fun version of, of an alien. Maybe we'll come up with a new idea. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our supplies and make sure we have everything we need before we get started. First, you wanna make sure that you have a pair of scissors and a pencil, okay? These are the only two things that are not provided in your art kit. And your art kit was packed by Garden City Arts and it's nice and big and packed full of fun materials to help us get creative this week. So, inside, every art bag. We have three separate bags and they are labeled. So today is day one. So this one's labeled day one. And there's a whole bunch of other art supplies in the bottom of the bag. And that's all art supplies that we might use um, all three days or maybe just like one or two days. Okay. So make sure that inside this bag you also grab a white container that's labeled glue. We need that today. And we also need the teeny tiny little brush. You have two of them and this one's the small one. We need to have that one handy as well. That's all the supplies you'll need for now. Um, after we're done making our headdress today, we are going to turn our attention to do some preparation, some prep work um, for tomorrow's class and that involves painting. So we'll have a lot of fun at the very end and we might get a little messy too. So let's look inside what is in bag one. Bag one has all sorts of supplies. Oof. I put in a whole bunch of stuff for you. So we are going to need a headband. Okay, that's how we're gonna wear our headdress. We're gonna need pipe cleaners. And I gave you all gold and green pipe cleaners. Now all of these colors are random, okay? So everyone might have different colors and that's, I think that's okay, right? That way we're all a little different. So. I have green, I have five green pipe cleaners, five gold pipe cleaners, a headband, and then I also have some scraps of paper and googly eyes. So first we need to plan, okay? How do you want your headdress to look? Do you want to use all of the googly eyes or maybe just one or two eyes? These googly eyes can also be used on day number three. So I would suggest not using all of them if you want to use them for a really fun project I have planned for you on day number three. So I'm going to choose to just use a few and save a few for, uh, for day number three. I'm gonna grab just one big one and I'm gonna grab three of the little ones and that'll leave me with plenty to have fun with later. I'm gonna seal this back throw it back in and we'll worry about that another day. Okay, so I have my eyes and I have my pipe cleaners. Now I need to decide, do I wanna do green or do I wanna do gold? What do you think? You get to choose, okay? I did gold in my original one, so I think I'm gonna go with green just to change it up a little bit. Who's to say that you have to only do one? What if you do both? That sounds good to me. Now, these pipe cleaners are great because they're really bendy. And if you bend them just right, they will hold on 
to our headband without having to use any glue. So I'm going to start in my middle and I need to decide what do I want to do to the middle? Do I want to have eyes there or do I want to have it open? I'm going to have it open, okay? I'm going to have my eyes off to the side. So I am going to bend my pipe cleaner around. Sometimes it's good to hold it down with your other hand and I'm going to bend it around and I'm just going to decorate it. So you can either space it out or put it up close. You probably won't have enough pipe cleaners to cover the whole headband. Maybe if you use all five. Still, you might want to be careful. Don't do too many. Now, I could leave these up and they would look like antenna. I could put eyeballs on the ends or I could wrap them around and maybe these are some ears, okay? There's all sorts of things you can do. The only thing you have to worry about is making sure that it holds on tight to the headband. So if you wrapped it once or twice around your headband, you're probably good to go. If you wanna wrap it around a few more times, just make sure that's okay too. Now the ends, if you want to leave it sticking straight up, no problem. Bob, that's nice and simple, right? But if you want it to make a shape, then you're gonna to have to wrap the end around your headband. And you need to make sure that the end is pushed down nice and tight against your headband. I kind of like the idea of having something with maybe horns or ears. Kind of looks like a cat right now. We'll have to maybe add some more eyes to make it look a little less alien. <gasps> Ooh, could it be like an alien cat? <gasps> Maybe you're someone's pet. You're not an alien at all, you're a pet in another world. Okay, so I'm going to point these a little bit to make them more cat-like. And then I'm gonna think about what an alien cat would look like. I don't think it'd be a, like a cat like we see here on Earth. I think an alien cat would have more eyes, okay? And maybe a horn. Okay, or anything else you want it to be. I'm going to wrap a gold right in the middle and I'm going to make sure that these are pointing straight up. Now, I can do lots of different things, okay? If I want these to be the same lengths, do you see how they're not right now? I could just take my pair of scissors and cut the extra off. Now. It can sometimes be a little harder to cut pipe cleaner. So if you need to ask your parent for help, please do so, okay? Now, I have cat ears, I have some weird antenna, and maybe I'm gonna do just a few more things like off down here. What do you think? So right now we're just getting the base. Now do you see my little googly eyes? I used paper to glue onto the ends of my pipe cleaner <laughs> to uh, create like a little base for the eye, okay? You don't have to do that, but it will be better if you do that. So I highly recommend it, okay? Because there's not just a front, there's actually a back as well. We're gonna take two pieces of paper and we're gonna sandwich that pipe cleaner so that it stays on really nice and well. And our glue doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna cut my pipe cleaner in half and I'm gonna come over here and I might just put some little zigzag lines. So the cool thing is, do you see how you can bend the pipe cleaner so that it does just about anything you want it to? It's pretty cool, huh? So. I am making one short and one tall. Remember to wrap your pipe cleaner around the base of your headband, very important. And then make sure it sticks straight up. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm gonna stop. But remember, you can do anything you want. You can keep going. You can always pause the video and keep building. And then when you're ready, we'll move on. So I'm gonna take these pieces of paper next and I am going to start cutting out 
different shapes to glue onto the ends of my head headdress or headpiece, whatever you want to call it. So if you want a circle, you can actually use your container as the template. Okay, so you lay your paper down on the ground, on the table, pretend like this is flat. You put your um, template on top, and then you use your pencil, make sure you're holding it, and you draw around your template. Now, what does this say it has to be a circle? It doesn't have to be a circle, it could be a triangle. I'm gonna draw my triangle out real fast. So make sure you draw out your shape before you start cutting. Believe me, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to have two triangles. And after I get done cutting, I'm gonna have a circle as well. Now I'm going to speed up the video in just a moment and I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of shapes for my little alien cat. Um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to while you're doing it, but I just, I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch me, okay? So I'm gonna draw, speed up the video in just one moment, and then we will resume normal speed after I have everything cut out, okay? Okay, I have everything cut out. Now I want to pick up all these scraps of piece of paper and get them out of the way. That way I can tell the difference between scraps and the pieces of paper that I cut out for my headdress. Okay, so you can open up your glue whenever you're ready and you're going to use your brush to brush on the glue. Now, Normally, you're not supposed to use a lot of glue, right? This time, I want you to use a lot, okay? And the reason you have to use a lot is because we need to make sure that our googly eyes and our pieces of paper do not fall off of our alien headdress. That would be embarrassing for the alien, wouldn't it? To have your eye fall off, oops. Okay, so friends, I'm going to put a whole bunch of glue on the back of my googly eye. And then I need to decide what piece of paper I'm gonna glue it to. I can even put a little bit of glue on the piece of paper once I decide. And then I need to hold it in place for a few seconds. I can either hold it or I could set it to the side and let it dry. Glue takes a while to dry, okay? We have to be patient because if we don't let it dry, it won't stay on there, okay? So have a few, uh, I have one eye. So far, I need to do a whole bunch more. Whoops, so random pieces of paper. Okay, so I'm going to start from the back and work my way to the front. So I'm going to do two layers of color. I'm gonna gra grab a uh, smaller red circle and I'm gonna glue it onto a bigger blue circle, okay? And then I'm gonna glue my eye onto my red circle. I'm gonna glue it all together. And like I said, you have to hold it for a little bit, then set it to the side. And we'll come back to it in a moment. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna show you how to get these guys to stay on to your headdress. We're even going to sing our alien happy birthday. So make sure you come up with a name for your alien while we're working. Mine's cat, so it could be fluffy. Or hmm, maybe whiskers. Or I could make up a name like Zorg. Zorg the cat. Okay. So there we go. I have my eyes all ready to go. I need to make sure that the glue is holding it in place. If it's not holding it in place, then you need to take your thumb and your finger and you need to pinch, pinch down and hold it for just a little bit, okay? That will help get these to stay together. 
Now, where am I gonna put all of this stuff? <sighs> Who knows? Hmm, I could put these together and make one big eyeball, okay? I could glue it at the bottom, okay? Um, there's lots of different things I can do. I kind of like it right here in the middle. I think that's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is take my glue and I'm gonna put it on the back, the part that doesn't have my wiggly eye, and I'm gonna put a ton of glue on. So do you see all of this glue I'm putting on? I'm putting it on thick and I'm putting it on on the edges in the center. I'm putting it all over the place. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on my headdress. I'm gonna take the back. So remember how I was cutting extras? I have another triangle and I'm gonna put it right onto the back and then I'm going to pinch, pinch, pinch and hold. I'm gonna to have to use both hands because this is a particularly big part. Now, in your head, you can sing happy birthday to your alien. That's how you'll know that you have pinched hard enough. So you're gonna sing happy birthday and hold and pinch. And by the time you're done singing happy birthday, you can sing it out loud if you want, if you don't think your parents would mind. By the time you are done singing happy birthday, your glue should be dry enough that it will stay in place, okay? Sometimes you can move it around and pinch it a little bit just to make sure that all of the pieces are kind of coming together. Okay, so pinch and hold and sing in your head if you need to, okay? Now, I am gonna call it good. I don't know if mine's had long enough. I probably should wait a little bit longer, but I'm kind of impatient. So I'm going to move on and show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of mine. And then we're finished you'll be able to wear your alien very soon. So once again, I take the back of what I am gluing. I need to make sure that I have another piece of paper handy that will go on and cover the back of it. Do you see that? If I don't have that, then it's not going to stay on. So we are sandwiching the pipe cleaner, right? Pipe cleaners the meat and the papers the bread. We are going to put glue to hold it all together. It's like the cheese in a grilled cheese sandwich. It's just gonna make sure everything's nice and held together. Okay, so I'm going to pinch and then in my head I could always sing happy birthday, right? And that's just to help make sure that the glue has enough time to kind of bond together and dry just a little bit. Now, if your piece of paper falls off, no worries. Do you know what you can do? Try gluing it again. Just sing birth happy birthday like maybe another time, okay? Or use more glue. If it keeps falling off, if you just can't get it to, maybe ask for your parent to help you, okay? Um, I didn't have any problems with it as long as I held it for a while. But if you keep having problems, ask your parent for help. They might, e might even have a glue gun that you could use, okay, to um, put it all together. Now, if you were to use a glue gun, that is just fine, but you have to ask your parents permission, right? Okay, make sure you ask for help if you need it from your parent. Okay, so I am putting glue on both sides of my paper, my bread, and I am going to push and hold. I could even go back to holding the other one just to make sure. And, ooh, look at that. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I think that's kind of a cool cat. Looks like a cat, but an alien cat. Okay, so. All you had to do was take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around the base of your headband. Then you cut out all of your different shapes of paper. And then once you have all of your shapes of paper, make sure you do two of each shape. You are going to glue on the googly eyes to the paper. And then using two pieces of paper, you're gonna sandwich it on to the ends of the pipe cleaner. 
And then when you've done all of that, you will have a really fun alien headdress. So I hope you had fun. I hope you wear your alien headdress. Remember to send us pictures with your beautiful alien headdresses on if it's okay with your parent. So we're done with this project for now. Now I'm gonna clean up and I'm going to show you how to get your paper prepped and ready for tomorrow's class, okay? Okay, you should have a nice clean area and you should be ready to move on. Now, I am going to go back to my art bag and I'm gonna grab a few things. I need my palette, okay? This is the foam plate. It's what's going to hold all of our paint on. I need the big brush. It's a foam brush. I need to grab two of the white pieces of watercolor paper. So this is the really thick paper and this is white. And you have two pieces of big paper and one small paper. We don't need this yet. Keep that in your bag for now, okay? So two pieces of paper and then, here's the fun part, we're gonna grab all of our paint. You should have six colors. So it's all at the bottom of the bag, of course. You'll wanna grab all of it, get it out. Oh, there it is. Okay, get all the colors out. And then there's one more thing in here, somewhere. <gasps> there it is, our cup for water, okay? So we need to talk really fast about color and organizing our colors. So did you know that color can be either warm or cool. There are three of each, three warm colors and three cool colors. So the warm colors are yellow and orange and red. The cool colors are green and blue and purple, okay? Now, we're going to paint one piece of paper with cool colors and the other piece of paper with warm colors. When we're doing that, we can do anything you want. You can mix your colors together. You can have fun. And we're going to be using our foam brush to do that. Now, I'm going to go from an overhead view so that you can watch me paint these on and see kind of what I do. And you can paint along or watch the video and then pause and then do it yourself. Okay, we'll see you in just one second. Okay, friends, I'm gonna start with my warm colors. And so I'm gonna grab one piece of paper and all my warm colors and make sure that you have filled your cup full of, well, about halfway full of water. That way you can rinse out your brush if you need to. Now I'm gonna start with some yellow and really you can do anything you want. Just remember that yellow is very, very, very weak and red is very, very strong. So your red will take over your yellow and your orange and anything else that it comes in contact with. So I would put the yellow on first and I put a lot of it on because guess what? We can cover up the yellow. I'm gonna fill the whole thing in, just about. But I'm gonna do some different brush strokes. Maybe do some dotting. And then I'm gonna put in some other colors. I'm moving on to my orange. And then I can put in a little bit of red as well. If you need to, you can always dip your brush in water to make it a little bit lighter. The goal is to get all of the white paper covered. So it doesn't matter what colors you use, doesn't matter what you do, or what it ends up looking like, you just need to cover the whole thing. Now, here's the cool part. It doesn't have to look like really super cool yet, because we are gonna have a lot of fun with it tomorrow. We're just getting the surface ready. Okay, so I'm just doing a whole bunch of different colors. 
you'll notice that my paper is kind of bowing. That's what happens when you get paper kind of wet. Don't worry, after you let this dry, by tomorrow, it won't be a big deal. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Do you see how fast I went? I'm done, I'm gonna set it to the side. And now I need to rinse out my brush. If you need to, go to the sink and clean it out really nice. Make sure that you squeeze out all of the extra water. You can clean it off on your paper towel. You can use your foam plate to mix up colors if you want. I didn't, I forgot to. But on this next set of colors, you could do that. So, those were my warm colors. These are my cool colors. I'm going to do an entire sheet with nothing but cool colors next. And I'm gonna show you how we can mix up a color. So I'm gonna take some blue. I'm gonna take some red. I can mix up my own different color. Okay, so, uh oh, look, my brush still has red in it, so I'm gonna stop really fast and I am going to rinse it out and I'll be right back. All oh, right, I now have a clean brush. It's going to look a lot better. Ooh, look at how much better that looks. We don't wanna get warm colors in our cool colors because sometimes they will make mud. They'll make brown if the right colors mix together. So I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. I can do some weird swirly brush strokes. Look at how much fun this can be. You can just kind of do your own thing. If you want to, you can probably even finger paint. Just make sure that you tell your parent before you do it so that they can have some baby wipes or something or paper towels handy so that you don't make a mess. They will not appreciate that. Okay. So I'm gonna fill the whole thing in. And then when I'm finished, we'll talk about what to do next because we're basically done with class. We've been very productive today. We've done a whole bunch of stuff, huh? All right, remember the goal is to not see any white. So I don't have any white. I'm going to set these to the side. They're nice and colorful. I'm gonna put them in a nice safe area where they have time to dry, okay? They'll dry pretty fast and they'll be ready for us by tomorrow easily. Now I'm going to clean up my brush just in case I need it for another project. And then I'm going to go back to my paint and I'm gonna put the caps back on. Make sure you put the right color on the right paint because guess what, we might use this later. You might or you might not, it just depends on what you wanna do. Or look at how much paint there is. Even if we don't use all of it for this project, you could save it for another art project another time. Okay, caps are back on the paint. I can set this to the side and I'm gonna make sure I clean up my brush. I'm gonna make sure I put away all of my supplies and then I will see you here again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching this online program. Please help Garden City Arts Thank these generous sponsors.